The bodies of six foreign aid workers killed in an Israeli airstrike left Gaza Wednesday and are being repatriated, with their Palestinian colleague buried in his hometown of Rafa. They were targeted systematically, car by car. Then we saw the consequences of that continuous targeting attack. Seven, seven people dead. Israel already felt diplomatic pressure over civilian casualties in the last six months, but not heat like this. The killing of seven aid workers impacted Western governments, where the deaths of thousands of Palestinians did not. The UK summoned Israel's ambassador to protest the deaths of three citizens, all of them British veterans. And prosecutors in Poland opened a homicide investigation into the incident, with the Speaker of Parliament citing it as a possible war crime. There have been too many innocent lives lost in Gaza. It shouldn't be the case that innocent Palestinians or people assisting them are made to pay the price for the actions of the terrorist group Hamas. But the deciding factor will be the line taken by Washington, with the US President Joe Biden set to speak with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in the coming hours. The White House has mostly stuck to its position supporting Jerusalem, diplomatically and militarily throughout the war triggered by Hamas's October 7th attack. This is a very complex war situation. Every war is very difficult, it's very messy, it's very dangerous, and it has ca casualties that we would all rather not have on the Israeli side and on the Palestinian side. The question is, will the US continue this line following the strike on the aid convoy?